Mr. Minister. Uh, we are very happy that you give us our, your time today. Like, uh, we chose you as a leader for this uh, end of the year uh, interviews for Diversity Magazine. So, thank you so much for your time. Well, thank you very much for the opportunity to, uh, to talk to you. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess part of years end of the interview, end of the year interview. I'm, I'm so happy to uh, have been given that chance. Okay, so we we'll just have some short question that uh, we will uh, discuss a little bit about uh, how it worked during the year, and uh, later on we will speak a little bit for the what we will take for the coming uh, year of your plan. So to wrap up the end of the year, we would love to hear about the. Uh, what is your team standout achievement and accomplishment for this uh, 2024? Yeah, first of all, uh, what we have been able to do this year uh, are a number of things. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, that includes uh, one of the most important and, and something that's very close to my, um, my heart and mind um, is that credential recognition for our uh, uh, newcomers here in this province. Mm -hmm. We were able to uh, 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 establish a committee, a uh, foreign credential recognition committee, uh, led by uh, the CEO of uh, Bohan College, Dr. Mohamba, and uh, we have other members, uh, like uh, the CEO of Association of Professional Engineers and Geoscientists, Dr. Mohamba. This is pretty high, high uh, uh, experienced committee people who uh, have backgrounds in certain uh, different sectors uh, mm -hmm. so they can contribute what are their you know people in their sectors are feeling who, you know that are barriers in terms of uh, potential recognition so we had a bill here bill two or three um, or earlier in our legis uh, legislature year we passed that and it required uh, uh, for this committee to be established Mm -hmm. So we established that committee a couple of months ago, and uh, they are working hard to make sure to you know to identify the uh, gaps that we have, uh, and we have done a reasonable amount of work uh, mm -hmm. in this regard too already. So the uh, mandate of the committee is to ensure that uh, that they go through what we have done and see if there are any gaps that we can still fill in. Uh, and also look around in our uh, country, see what other jurisdictions, other provinces mm -hmm. are doing uh, with regard to credential recognition and see if we can learn something from them and, and also kind of implement our, you know, to, to, um, in our process as well. So to make our credential recognition system the easiest and, 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 and fastest. Uh, in our country, they will have. They probably look uh, around, around the, around the world as well. So, what, what we want to make sure is that people are not held back because of uh, issues around their credentials. So, a doctor who comes from um, Nigeria or for some, for that matter, from you know any other country, maybe Brazil or somewhere, if they have worked there for you know that that long mm -hmm. and uh, you know and when they come here and they pass all the exams that they need to pass mm -hmm. then they should be able to work right away uh, same goes for the engineer for engineer yeah. uh, you know uh, so there's no uh, uh, it, it, it causes a lot of frustration when people are not able to work in their own field and they're kind of forced to uh, in a way to uh, work in other fields yeah, that are not it, it has a lot of uh, different Mm -hmm. uh, a kind of impacts, you know, social, uh, economic, and different ways it impacts you, right? So we want to make sure that our newcomers who come to our province are uh, they get to their field that they bring and, and, and the experience and the and the trades and skill or, or the profession that they bring with them, they are recognized here uh, as soon as possible. So they are, uh, you know, so so then they are able to contribute uh, meaningfully to our economy, to our society, and they're happy. When they're happy, their family is happy, government is happy, community is happy. It's a win, win, win for everybody. So that's a, uh, something that we, uh, we, we worked on mm -hmm. earlier this year, and hopefully uh, by uh, 
I think the committee has one year to uh, to come up with some findings and some recommendations. In addition to that, I don't know if you uh, are familiar with our uh, Alberta Immigrant uh, Impact Awards that we started mm -hmm. three years ago. Okay. And I was very much involved in setting up those awards. And this year we, uh, we had a, an amazing function mm -hmm. to, uh, to, to make sure that people who have made positive contribution uh, contributions in our province in different fields. There's a probably, I think there's nine different categories. And it's in order to be a... Yeah, this year's ago, yeah. Uh -huh. And we, uh, so we, I think we were able to award, uh, I don't know how many, probably close to 300 people who applied, but we were only able to, uh, we were only able to, uh, you know, recognize uh, you know, 35 people this year. And hopefully people will apply and uh, next year we'll have some more people uh, to recognize. The whole idea behind that is to uh, share the contributions of newcomers when they come here. They, they, they're like any you know, other uh, you know, you know, kind of pro professional who are already here. And, and they get into that and that happens to be their field mm -hmm. of study. And then they make a contribution in that or volunteerism or entrepreneurship or science, technology, mm -hmm. uh, women, impact, and, and, and students and seniors. So there's uh, nine different categories where the, uh, people can be nominated for. So I, one thing I would like you to do is make sure that people in your community are, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're who qualify, of course, uh, are nominated. They have to be, so we will start that process uh, sometime uh, next year, some probably second quarter. Okay. So uh, make sure that people are recognized. We had an amazing program this year. We had, we had um, uh, our premier, our lieutenant governor, myself, and I think there was probably close to 250 or 300 people. We had a gala mm -hmm. uh, dinner type, uh, uh, you know, get together where we had uh, a video of uh, uh, award recipients, see what they have done. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we gave them the awards. So uh, <clears throat> I think what's good is it's, 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 uh, so it's it, it causes a feeling of harmony, understanding, tolerance, acceptance, mm -hmm. respect, and dignity. So people know that these people come here, they add value. That's, so that's the whole idea. idea yeah. And then the result is that harmony, understanding, and, and appreciation of uh, the contribution that are made by newcomers, right? Mm -hmm. So that's, uh, I, I, think, I think it's great. Uh, uh, initiative. Um, I'm very much, uh, you know, I like it very much because I was very much involved in setting this up, and even uh, our government likes it too. Premier likes it, and mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. uh, this uh, that's another thing that we have done. So I'm talking about I'm keep talking about achievements, right? Uh, then we also one thing that we have started to do uh, is uh, recognize recognize. A cultural heritage of certain communities. If, as long as we have enough people from that uh, country or um, our community, mm -hmm. so we uh, we recognize them. And we, I think, we've done uh, already. We have done uh, Somali Heritage Week. Mm -hmm. uh, we have done uh, Japanese Heritage Month, mm -hmm. September. Somali Heritage Week is, I think, in May, 25 to July 1st. Mm -hmm. um, this community wanted that very much. And they have been trying to get that for some, I don't know for how long. And uh, we, we had an amazing program here um, in Edmonton. Uh, so uh, we, 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 we officially announced that. We also, uh, this year, earlier this year, we, uh, we recognized Asian Heritage Month, Manta May, okay. Asian Heritage Month, where okay. people uh, of Asian origin in, uh, are recognized for their contributions okay. uh, to our province. Uh, that uh, was very well uh, taken mm -hmm. and appreciated by the Asian community and uh, I, I was so happy to be part okay. of that gathering there yeah. uh, to uh, announce that officially. And um, we then also recognized that later on um, uh, as uh, for for in the month of uh, September, uh, Japanese Heritage Month. Mm -hmm. That community was so happy 
that we because they have had their difficulties here. Uh, Japanese community here early on, there was a lot of you know issues with that community uh, in terms of uh, them being accepted uh, in in here, and I think they were so happy to have uh, uh, have that news that uh, the month of September is a Japanese Heritage Month in the province of Alberta, and uh, most recently we. Uh, declared the month of uh, uh, October as Latin American Heritage Month. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of countries from Latin America, mm -hmm. so they are recognized for their contributions. And when you put collectively, when you put people together uh, from different countries in the, in the, in the Latin America, uh, there's lots of people. We, uh, we have enough people to recognize uh, their contributions. Uh, to our province here, to our communities here, and so they, you know, they, you know, so, so they feel a sense of ownership in our, in you know, in our province. So we we've done that. So these are some of the things that we uh, have uh, done this year, and we continue to work. We continue to work uh, uh, on on these lines as well as uh, you know, in terms of immigration. We continue to work with the federal government. See, our immigration, uh, the Alberta nominee immigration, it's called a PNP, Provincial and Nomination Program, uh, or Provincial Immigrant Nomination Program, or PINP, whatever. We call it uh, Alberta Advantage Immigration Program. Okay. We renamed it in 2022, I think it was. So it's called Alberta Advantage Immigration Program. Okay. So the, the, um, uh, allocations, so it's not it's not family reunification or uh, or or, or uh, refugees, uh, student visas. They are with the federal government. Uh, overseas people who are working here already uh, work permits. They're working in our province and they want to, they want to be permanent residents. Um, either that or else there is a shortage of uh, uh, technical people, uh, mm -hmm. labor shortage in areas and then we, we, we can get people from uh, around the world as well. But majority of the vast majority of people are from here who are already here. So we continue to work with the federal government to get more uh, uh, you know allocations so that people who are already here so they can be uh, they can be accepted into our P uh Alberta Advantage Immigration program. So that's something that we will continue to work with the federal government uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, see how many allocations we have for next year. Mm -hmm. uh, although there is uh, some you know, cutbacks that I, I hear on, uh, from other uh, areas like student visas and uh, general uh, reduction in immigration, yeah. but uh, one area I think we, we shouldn't have reduction is a uh, uh, very minimal reduction if there's anything at all. In fact, I think it should be increased economic immigration. Those are the people they don't, they are needed here. They, they don't replace uh, anybody's, you know, any other jobs. They're just they're needed to fill in the gaps that we have in our. You think some input for the economic. Uh, yes, yes. So, the, so it's good for our economic growth. Yeah, that's it. So, uh, so that's the, you know, that's uh, one of the, you know, kind of ongoing effort and work that I will be uh, working on to make sure that we have, uh, uh, we have enough uh, allocations uh, allotted to us by uh, the federal uh, federal government. Yeah. So I think that uh, from those uh, key lights, that key highlights that you share us, you really made some uh, amazing work during the year. It's uh, because it's not only for a few community, but uh, it's like uh, maybe you're speaking about Somalia and Japan and uh, yeah, so all of uh, it's, 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 uh, it's everybody. And yeah. the other thing is that for me, uh, I have to be, you know, you know, very fair across all the communities. Mm -hmm. And when we declare these uh, heritage months, but we, we, got, we must have enough people in this province to do that. Mm -hmm. So it's not that, you know, if you, if you have only 1,000 people here, then we, it's so difficult. So if there's minimum, um, then maybe around 20, 25,000 people, uh, you know, that you um, have to have in this province to declare a, a month. For last year we declared a month, for example, Mexican Heritage Month. There's uh, enough people here and there was a couple of other ones too. Uh, that we uh, Korean uh, as well, but this year these are the ones that we did, and um, 
So we will continue to see uh, which yeah. community needs to be recognized for their heritage is in here in this Alberta is a place uh, of hope. Alberta is a place of prosperity. Yeah, Alberta is a place of generosity. And, and Alberta is a place of, you know, where people come from around the world. And we want to make sure that, that when they come here, they are, are you know, they, so there are minim, minimal difficulties or no difficulties at all in terms of uh, credential recognition and, uh, you know, any discrimination or hate uh, that, you know, people uh, might feel. So we don't, we, we, we want to be welcoming and we want to make sure that people are here, they feel welcome, valued, respected, and, and, and if needed help. Uh, to get to their uh, full uh, potential that they bring along with them. Yeah, so that's how I came here. Uh, I, that, I don't know how you, I don't know whether you're born here or not, but but uh, people who come from around the world, uh, this is the hope that they bring with them, and uh, our province offers them the opportunity to fulfill their expectations mm -hmm. uh, through you know good uh, economic growth and. Um, and, 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 and you, know, you know, acceptance and accommodation of those people from around the world. And by the way, uh, our province is also about, uh, you know, 20, close to 27 percent uh, population that uh, calls uh, itself uh, as, uh, you know, immigrant. Uh -huh. So there is a, uh, roughly, I'm just, you know, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I don't know exactly what they, they are right on there, but cities like Calgary, it may have, uh, you know, maybe 38, 39% mm -hmm. people who are newcomers. So we want to make sure that they uh, are uh, happy. They are, you know, they, so they have, they bring a lot of energy and enthusiasm with them. And we want to make sure that we capitalize on what they bring to our province. And, and we, you know, when they're happy, they're working in their own field, they're happy, their family is happy, uh, their, you know, the community that they're living in, that's happy, they're able to do other things they have to do, you know, do volunteer work. They were so it's it's a, it's such a nice uh, uh, you know outcome when when they have their own the, the jobs in their own field. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, and besides, as you know, so to have a doctor prepared here, it it, it costs us about half million dollar, mm -hmm. you know, over four or five years, right? And if a doctor comes from uh, um, you know from overseas, already. Put, you know, have we already trained for so as long as they, we have the need, and we do have the need, uh, and, and they are here, and they have passed all the exams to be, uh, to, to bring their standards up to our standards here, then it's, uh, then it's, it's it makes, it only makes sense that they are able to, they should be working their own field. Mm -hmm. Okay, so from all of this, did you find, did you face any challenges to reach your accomplishment during this year? Specific, uh, yeah, we, we, continue, well, we continue to work hard and uh, get uh, things done. Uh, one of the things that I mentioned earlier is, uh, uh, you know, my challenge is would be to working with the federal government to making sure that we have enough allocations uh, for uh, for uh, for our next year, right? So that we can continue to help. The ultimate goal, mm -hmm. and my goal is to help newcomers as immigrants, settle in their own professions as soon as possible after they come here and also make sure that there's no discrimination. And we, you know, we earlier in 2022, we uh, also, and I, one thing I should have talked to you about this earlier, is that we implemented an anti-racism action plan across 25, uh, 26 ministries. So the people who interview, they are trained to make sure that uh, you know, when they hire people, they only look at the, well, you know, the ability to do the work. They shouldn't be looking at other things like how the person looks, mm -hmm. how you know, the person believes, or how they, you know, which culture uh, the person is from. Mm -hmm. Those should, they should have nothing to do with the uh, person's ability to, uh, to do the work. Yeah. And uh, so it's all in matter. So we did that, we implemented that, it's called yeah, anti racism action plan. So there has been a lot done in the last four or five years uh, in our province with respect to immigrant community. And I'm so happy to be part of a lot of doing in that area yeah. that has happened. And I continue to work 
to make sure that uh, our problems uh, you know, offer, continue to offer hope and, uh, and opportunity for people uh, to, 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 you know, to, to get into their own field uh, of studies and to uh, and, 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 and are part of our family here and are contributing to um, economic prosperity and the problems. Yeah, this is like our all common uh, common objectives. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So this is yes, priority. Yeah. So uh, concerning that, uh, as you work ahead for the coming year, do you have some priorities or something that uh, you can share with us? Uh, yeah. So so we uh, yeah, so, so, so think like uh, you know people you know uh, for example we have shortage uh, of healthcare people here. Mm -hmm. And we want to make sure that they are facilitated and helped to get uh, to you know to to, to to meet the needs in the rural Alberta, so that we keep continue to work with the health minister on, on that, and uh, I continue to work with the federal government and allocate to more people here. There's a lot of people here, but we need we need we need to get them in our system to be able to meaningfully contribute. So they you know and and so. Those are the you know, couple of items, but and I will continue to work on the things that we have started to work on. For example, uh, you know, cultural uh, cultural recognition, you know, immigrant uh, recognition awards. Uh, those are the things. Those are the ongoing things that will continue to be part part of uh, you know, part of my work. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think we are already at the end and uh, do you have some uh, thing that you want to share in our magazine or for our... Uh, yeah, so I would like to say this, that uh, to your uh, readers of your mm -hmm. diversity magazine is that thank you very much for the contribution that your community brings to our problems and the value they, uh, they, you know, they hold and, 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 and uh, they share with others. We have, mm -hmm. a, we have a, a number of... Uh, Initiatives where you know where you can share your culture, uh, you know your your values mm -hmm. uh, through our uh, you know ethnocultural funding uh, with other communities. Uh, uh, please take advantage of that. If you know there are some associations uh, who are doing this work, uh, please make sure that they um, are aware of it and they take advantage when the funding is open later this year. We also have funding for. Uh, uh, you know, uh, to deal with the uh, hate crimes and discrimination, mm -hmm. anti-racism. So there's a small amount of funding uh, available for that as well. Mm -hmm. So people, people, the organizations should, should apply, and these fundings are going to be open and you know open up, be, be opening up pretty soon too. So um, before the end of this year. So mm -hmm. so we, only people we can I can help people to apply. Of course. And so mm -hmm. make sure that the applications are complete. Mm -hmm. And uh, they put together good, uh, you know, applications, and we then we can, if we have a, you know, we, we, if we are able to help, then you know, we want to make sure that we collaborate, work in, uh, in, in a, with, with those communities to make sure that they are able to do things that they want to do, to, uh, you know, to talk about the, you know, good things about their culture and invite others outside. And people outside your culture so that they understand their values and once you know the, the whole idea behind this is that once we uh, know familiar with each other culture and values mm -hmm. then that gives us the ability to work together better that's uh, that's the idea there yeah this is like uh, the main point like, yes. uh, the key yes. yeah so as uh, you are uh, yeah it's done but, uh, we can we can look at the camera there too, uh, <laughs> so we can do a picture. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, thank you. As, as uh, we are speaking about this funding.